Hello and welcome to EPIC. Apple does it, Microsoft does it and sometimes even Mercedes. Software updates, so the hardware will run better. Today we will have a look what Pulsar did. Hardware is only as good as the software, its control and operate. Therefore, there are software updates that improve the performance or even sometimes add new features or functions to the hardware. It's like that on a cell phone, like on the computer or even with a car. Here at Pulsar, a really big step has been taken with a new firmware update 3.2 which was launched on the market in mid-August 2019. The new firmware is available for Helion, Trail and Azolate series, the XQ and XP models. There's a free update and we take a look at what Pulsar had conjured up. Pulsar is constantly working on the improvement of algorithm for image processing. The focus for firmware 3.2 was to increase the sensitivity of the microbolometer. The microbolometer is the sensor of the thermal image device, as well as the CMOS sensor on the photo and film camera. The finer disk radiation is possible, the temperature difference has to be displayed, the easier is to find, detect and identify things of course. Everyone knows this. You have installed the latest software on your computer, updated your iPhone and you are not sure, is this better or worse than before? Therefore, we have mounted two Helion XP38 next to each other. On the left side the new firmware 3.2, on the right side the current version 3.1. Apparently the new firmware is a bit more contrasty and sharper than the older firmware. The secret lies in the operating mode. There are rocks, woods and identification. Even if at first it only looks like there are three presets of brightness and contrast, what it apparently is, it's a little bit more behind all. You have the possibility to switch relatively fast to adjust the device to different temperature and environments. Rock, for example, is optimum if you have a very high temperature difference. For example, after a sunny day, stones, paths, some trees are extremely heated and the rest is much darker. To better display this, select Rock operating mode. With Forest, it goes exactly in the opposite direction. Very small temperature difference are better represented here. Example, early in the morning. Over the night the temperature is very constant. The field has the same color representation as the trees and branches. And the person is difficult to identify. This is exactly what this mode is for. The I stands for identification mode and is optimal when the situation is a little bit more difficult. Fog or rain for example. We haven't had that here now but you can see the bright areas outshine sometimes and makes it more clearly and visible. A good comparison is if you look at all modes with red hot. One can clearly see here that the individual mode deal differently with the representation of the heat. And that's a great thing of course if you can switch quickly. And you can now. The button layout has been adjusted a bit. The up key had previously the switch between the color palettes and pressing and holding the button for a longer time turns on the Wi-Fi function. But now the up button is through switches between the three operation modes. If you hold the button and press longer, you switch the color modes as you know before. The Wi-Fi can now be activated as before also possible via the main menu. So no more speed dial button but it's not bad. You don't need the Wi-Fi all the time. If you want to know which current software is installed, go to Device Information. There you can get the version of the installed firmware. If the 3.1 is still installed on the device, now we show you how to install the new one. Go to StreamVision, the app that is available for the Pulsar device. 
There you choose your device and the new firmware should be offered. It's important that you are in the internet on the Wi-Fi with your mobile device, not connected to the Pulsar device. Because first you need to download the software on your mobile phone. When that happened, that's very fast because it's only 2 megabyte, then you connect to the Pulsar device, in this case the Helion. For this the Wi-Fi must be activated in the menu of the Helion. Now you changed the Wi-Fi on your mobile to the Helion device, so that a connection exists. Then start Stream Vision. It will show that a new firmware is already for installation. You are asked again and then the firmware can be installed. It takes about two minutes, here a little bit speed up and the whole thing is finished. There are two types of users. Some want to have the latest update firmware on the devices right away and the other, there are those who are a little hesitant. Wait and see what to read about it on the internet. If there are any difficulties, the device may not work anymore afterwards. And of course, there are also people with this kind of software who said, I think it gotten worse. But things are a little bit different here. Of course, you also had the possibility to switch between the operation modes before, between mountains, forest and the identification mode. But you hardly use it because you had to switch to the main menu, right? We have adjust our devices wherever we were outside, if we are in the woods or in the city, depending on what should be filmed or observed. Then the device was adjusted, mostly only with contrast and the brightness. With a new update you can switch between the modes relatively fast and then you realize how different these modes are. But the switching isn't it alone. Because as already mentioned at the beginning, Pulsar has revisited the algorithm and the operating mode now have more powerful function or effect on the image than before. The heat source is apparently extremely amplified in the forest mode. Apparently also outshined. But this makes it easier to find and identify things much better in temperature environment where the differences are not so great. If you have a very strong contrast, you choose mountain. Then you have a better visualization. Because not everything falls out completely. One has to consider that the device adapts to the environment like a camera in automatic mode. That means if you have a lot of heat sources, the device will lower the contrast between the shown temperature. Otherwise, you have a lot of arid areas Accordingly, other areas are then displayed too dark as well. That's why these modes are four and if you have played around with them, you will notice that they are very helpful and you have the possibility to adjust your device very quickly. That was actually the conclusion already. We can only recommend installing this firmware on your device. As said before, the Helion, the Trail and the Esolate devices are affected. Means the update is for them. It's really recommended that you can use this button on the front to quickly switch between the modes. In our opinion, it is more important than switching between the color palettes like before. Especially when you are out at night. You should use the monochrome red because this does not affect your eyes and the night vision capability. If you look on a bright shining black and white screen, you are not able to see anything with this eye for a relatively long time. If you liked the video and would like to know more about Thermal Imager from Pulsar, we have made a movie about the new Axion series. The Pulsar XM30 and XM38 and the Pulsar XP38, that's the premium class of thermal imager from Pulsar, that's what we have also introduced. The link to it are below in the description. There are also a three-part series about the device from the point of view of thermal imaging for filmmakers. Perhaps quite interesting because here 
the function of the thermal imaging device or camera is shown in comparison to conventional photo and video cameras. So if you want to know more, just take a look there. If you have any questions about the Pulsar device or the thermal techniques, write it in the comments and we will answer relatively soon. If you like the video, pay with the money of YouTube, give a thumbs up, subscribe the channel. Don't forget to click the bell for notification. Until then, take care, stay safe. Your Stefan Schech.